All right, so we're gonna take this button panel out. So there are three screws or nuts on this side. One, two, three, no one doesn't have one. And then a Phillips here and then potentially a Phillips there. So first thing we're gonna be removing is the light housing unit. Now, the lights are plugged in on these sides. You wanna make sure that they don't become unplugged. Unscrew that Phillips. Put the screw aside. And for the nuts, it is a 1130 seconds. You can use either the socket or if you have an open face wrench. Now when you pull this light, use the other side, push it through, hold the glass. This glass is free floating. It'll move around. Now, if you want to unplug the lights, that's fine. Set them aside. You set that aside. This little plastic piece in here, pull that out. This is directional. That goes to the bottom, it grabs the keyboard, that goes to the top, to the button panel on the keyboard. So, loosen these. Before you take it all the way out though, kill the power to the Nano, unplug everything, and let it float down at the bottom, especially the comm. Down like that. Now we can take these out. This also flops back. You might need to wiggle it around. Get it off the screws. Careful. Careful of the bill validator light cable. Set that aside. Now, some button panels are just gonna slide in. This one is screwed in. It is the same 11 30 seconds with a washer. You just loosen them a little bit. They're not the tightest in there. You want them to be tight when you put them back. This one has three, some might have more. But once they are loose enough, it just slides right out. Now, some of the other housings, button panels will have not these, but a track system that goes on each side. Now this is directional when you wanna put it back in. So when you put it back in, make sure the collect and all that is visible. But now we can access these bottom buttons. Like I said, they twist in and out. You don't want to force them and break the plastic, especially if they're older or smoke-ridden. They twist out, twist out. This is the top, so you can see the switch up here. This is the one that we just replaced. We're next to it, here's a better view of the whole button itself on how it's sideways. Twist it out, comes out. It's where also the bulb. Twist it back in. So now to put this back in, you wanna make sure it's on, lays flat on top. You see how there's little grooves right here? And then there's grooves on this piece too that it will fall into. So with these washers, you want to make sure it's loose enough that the washers go under and that it actually goes on top of the grooves and then you just tighten them down, go until it's fairly tight and you don't have to won't go anywhere, it won't do anything. But you make sure you don't over tighten one first and then go to the next ones because they will loosen once they tighten. Make sure they're hand tight before you start this. You can also press down from the top. Okay. Now, these can stay down, that's fine. 
The easiest one to put in first is the nano housing unit. Like I said before, watch out for this. But before you put it in, you can hook in the comm cable. It's a whole lot easier to hook up when it's not in there. Now this, the larger side goes towards you, towards the front of it, or the back of it. That slides in there. Make sure those cables are fine. Okay. This attaches here. These little hook things. Like I said, I'm going to for these cables. This has to go in front of it. Make sure the screw all the way in the corner goes over if you need to use leverage to get it in there. This front piece moves with those. So you can push it against it like this. And then put these on a little bit. Don't tighten them yet. Okay, grab the plastic piece. Put it in. Lay it up against. Some games there don't have the plastic piece. Now grab the glass this glass all the way to the left side. Now when you put it back in, make sure nothing's gonna be hitting it on the other side. This is your screw. Hold it. Okay, now you can close it. Make sure it's in the right position. Grab the screw, reattach it to the ground wire. Screw it in a little bit. And then use the Phillips or whatever it is. Tighten that and then go back. Make sure you tighten these all the way. This is easier to use with a socket. And put that one on. After you put that on, make sure to tuck the wires in the side so when the build validator or the printer is printing, it doesn't get in the way. Reassemble. Replug everything back in on the nano. Network and power. Make sure the wires are tucked back. Put back in the belly door switch. And if it has an excess cord, put it up here in the top and then try to put it underneath the plastic or zip tie it.